You know, we were saying today that you are these iconic characters, but we don't really know much about you. Who are you? No. I... How do you, you're an international man of intrigue. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> You no, know, like, what are your hobbies and likes and... Uh, yeah, I tend to keep myself to myself a lot. I tend... I'm not on social media in any shape or form. I yeah. prefer to keep all my ac activities of a personal level. Personal. personal and <laughs> private. Um, just because I find it much more relaxing. I find the whole concept of social media just not... Keeping up with it, Sort of right? unrelaxing. Yeah. It feels like an unrelaxing thing, so I don't do it. Is it... Did you know, did you ever fear, uh, I mean, feel that you would be, like, this cool to so many generations? Like, you're huge. Um, I'm huge. Um, <laughs> uh, I... No, not really. I suppose you don't, you know, you just, I mean, particularly when you're young and you're s setting off and you're finding your comic feet, that you just want to have fun. You know, that, I suppose, is what drives you. And you think, I suppose with Mr Bean in particular, because he's a largely silent yeah, yeah. character, that there's no doubt that he was slightly contrived <laughs> to have... There he is. Um, he was slightly contrived to have international appeal, I suppose. Cause right, it, because there's no language Because it was, ba it was based, actually, on a visit, on a holiday in Venice that I had in 1985, quite a long time ago. And I just remember noticing all the musical artists who were popular at the time, you know, the Duran Duran and David Bowie and, uh, and classical musicians like Daniel Barenboim. And I thought, how odd that musicians generally assume they have an international audience. Yeah. Whereas if you do comedy, you assume you've just got your country yeah. and your kind of people who are going to enjoy what you do. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun, because I had already started exploring just doing purely visual comedy, whether I could, you know, do that on... I'd, I'd explored it on stage, and I was interested in trying to put visual comedy through the character of Mr Bean on TV. And so that's where it started. Well, we, the first ones we did were 1988, 89, and then it sort of grew from there, and now we've got this... Uh, Weird, it's like you've got a time uh, presence. It, it has its 